Hi, this is a quick unboxing and review of the Sony James Donkey Optical Gaming Mouse. This is a six button gaming mouse. It came in a nice little packet like this. Looks like you have here a little donkey logo there for the James Donkey. Uh, not much information outside here. So let's just go ahead and unbox it and see what's coming inside. Kind of interesting, nice little packaging. So they got a little slogan here, Neighbor Walk Alone. Underneath you have the gaming mouse. And then you have some uh, specification, but it's all written in Chinese. And I don't even see a user menu. So, and that's, and that's basically about it. Let's take a look at the mouse. So here is the James Donkey mouse. It just looks like an ambidextrous mouse. Clicks feel really nice. On this side here, you have the back and forth button right on your side. And then on your side, not much down. And then there's a button up top here. There's your scroll wheel. And then you have the DPI switcher button here. This is up to 2000 DPI. Has this nice little opening here. Cable is feed to one side. We have here the soft rubber cable. It feels really nice. And the big USB plug. So here's the bottom of the mouse. You have your three mouse gate, one long one here and two big one up here. And then we have the look like on off button here. I'm not sure what's the on off button for. We have to figure that out. So I just got a mouse plug in. It feels really solid and feels really nice. I like the texture on the side for the palm grip. Uh, the mouse does feel pretty light. It's uh, totally make out plastic seam. Uh, there's the optical sensor at the bottom. And then look like it's right now it's glowing this uh, yellow color. I'm not sure if it can change color or not. So I've been using the James Donkey mouse for the past two weeks or so to play various game and everyday application. And so far the experience has been pretty decent. So this mouse can be used as either a palm grip or a claw grip. And I do find out that using this as a claw grip it works really well. The mouse is look like an ambidextrous mouse but there's no software so there's no way for you to really swap the button unless you find some uh, third party software. So that's the only downside. So right, uh, right out of the box it's set up for a right mouse button but in order to switch it you need to some kind of third party software or I guess window can also do that but other than that you basically stuck with the setting you got here the back and forth button is properly placed and I do like the position of them uh, these textures over here is really nice it has this uh, groove texture and it feels really nice on the hand and you can reach up here to press the back and forth button and they are out place up top here you have the DPI button and this button here can change to three different DPI setting you have 1000 1600 and then 2000 and there's no light indicator so I, that was the one thing I didn't like it's a very basic mouse so when you press it you're gonna go to the different DPI setting it started out at 1600 so next time it will be 2000 press it again it will go to 1000 and it will just basically cycle on around and the only way you're gonna know the difference is that you have to feel the pointer and see how fast everything is moving I do like the scroll wheel button I feel like it's very has a really nice resistance to it and there's a small click you can feel it there is a click on the mouse also but uh, to me, uh, the click is, has a lot of resistance and I feel like if you click it, sometimes you're going to accidentally scroll the wheel. And I think this is a lot of problem for a lot of mouse in general. But uh, this mouse, the click is really hard so you do have to give it some effort. The left and right click buttons are really well designed and I feel like they have very short travel distance. So it just depends on who you are. I prefer a little bit more travel distance on these. But as you can see here, they have very short travel distance and the click feel really solid and I do like that. On the bottom of the mouse, there is one button. There is an on-off button and all this does is basically just activate the lighting mode and if you turn it on you basically get a orange glow around the mouse and that orange glow is pretty light it's nothing special and uh, it just glow around here this area and you can see it through here and there's no other option to change the color so it's a very basic mouse and if you turn it off the light goes off other than that the mouse always working plug it in as far as this cable I actually like the cable a lot I feel like a braided cable can be a little bit overrated and because they get stuck all the time and I feel like this little skinny cable here flat get untangled easy and it does not get in the way as you can see here it's it's very loose and it's very easy to move around and I feel like braided cable has a nice durability but they do run into the issues of always getting jammed up so overall I think uh, the mouse is really well designed and uh, I love like and I do like this design and this color choice uh, some of my friends didn't like this yellow but uh, for me this is a really cool looking mouse for me it's a pretty basic gaming mouse with three different DPI setting you can use it uh, to play game and I use this to play CSGO I test it out and I enjoy using it for me 2000 DPI is the correct setting and that's where I usually go. Other people I know play with a lower setting but for me that's the only three setting you have and a 2000 setting works pretty well. The only downside to this mouse that I found was this little lip here. You can see in the corner here. This little corner here actually get caught on my hand sometimes so when you are palm gripping it sometimes 
yes, pinky finger here will actually hit that, as you can see. And uh, when I move it away, I can actually grip the mouse. And that's, to me, the only problem when you smell. I think if they do a better job of curving this inward a little bit, it will definitely help with that. Other than that, it's a pretty cheap gaming mouse for under 15 bucks. You get this nice little mouse with DPI setting. A little lighting mode that you can turn on and off, uh, but only have one color. The other thing I do want to point out is that even though this is very comfortable and very nice to hold, it does attract dust very quickly. After only using it for two days, I do notice that dust are building up in here, and uh, it's pretty tough to clean up. You just have to get a uh, microfiber and wet it a little bit to pull it out. But so I wonder over a course of a year using this, especially with ye this yellow color, I don't know how much dust is going to build up. Another thing I do want to point out is that in the box, it does not come with any user menu. Basically, everything you need is on here. But you can see here, it's written in both English and Chinese and it's not a lot of detail I'll just tell you some specifications some different setting and underneath now you can say see how to change it and that's basically go to it and there's some other thing and then there's the layout button but that's all you get I use mouse to the dead adder that I currently use as my daily driver I do notice that the dead adder definitely has better precision tracking uh, we just going up to 2000 dpi it works well but sometimes I do feel like it's a little bit more glitchy and I think that's due to the reason that is because this mouse only have up to 125 a uh, hurt of pulling rate while the at that I can go up to a thousand and I feel like uh, for a gaming mouse you just need to go up that a little bit higher so that is one downside that I do see when you smile so I hope your short little review helped you in your purchase decision if you have any question please let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review thank you